For the first time in NASCAR history, a major team, Legacy Motor Club, has decided to move from Chevrolet to Toyota as its manufacturing partner. But what could be the real reason for this unexpected move? Join us in this video as we uncover the truth behind Legacy MC's change, uncovering the hidden forces that contributed to this big shift in the racing business. From the team's challenges to stand out in the face of Chevrolet's domination, to the potential game-changing impact of their new partnership, this is an update you won't want to miss. But before that, please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button for more whereabouts on NASCAR. Jimmy Johnson and Hendrick Motorsports have been working together for a long time. But who knew where it would lead now and that it would cause a bit of controversy? Jeff Gordon saw how good he was and persuaded owner Rick Hendrick to put Johnson in the Winston Cup Series full-time in 2002, with Gordon as a part owner of his car. In his first full season, he was fifth in points. In 2003 and 2004, he was second, and in 2005, he was fifth. Johnson won his first Cup Series title in 2006, when he won again in 2007, 2008, 2009, and 2010. He became the first and only driver in NASCAR history to win five straight championships. Between 2002 and 2017, Johnson won seven championships, 83 races, placed in the top five 222 times, in the top 10 341 times, and started from the pole 35 times. Aside from winning seven NASCAR Cup titles together, the two teams have also been able to work together in other fields. Last week in France, the Hendrick Motorsports Garage 56 program started and finished the 24 Hours of Le Mans, which was a great example of this. This weekend, Johnson was one of three well-known drivers who added to their long lists of wins. Hendrick Motorsports has established itself as Chevrolet's favored team, receiving the best parts and equipment in NASCAR. The team's success can be traced back to the mid-1980s when Rick Hendrick, the team owner, formed alliances and collaborations with General Motors in their racing endeavors. With wins and strong performances, HMS solidified its position as a winning NASCAR team, accumulating over 300 Cup Series victories with legendary drivers like Daryl Waltrip, Terry Labonte, Jeff Gordon, and Jimmy Johnson. The partnership between NASCAR, IMSA, and Chevrolet was a natural choice. Hendrick's close relationship with Chevrolet, both in terms of their race team and the retail side of the industry, made them an ideal collaborator. The goal was to preserve the DNA of a NASCAR stock car while adapting it for endurance racing. Chevrolet's experience and knowledge gained from their involvement in sports car racing, particularly with Cadillac and Corvette programs, proved invaluable in the development of the modified car. But the reason of why he switched from Chevrolet to Toyota remains unanswered. Is Jimmy about to make a mistake because Chevrolet is doing better with other teams? The decision made by Kyle Busch to switch from Joe Gibbs Racing to Richard Childress Racing caused quite a stir and sparked intense debate among racing enthusiasts. When the news became public at the end of the 2022 season, the stock racing world was taken aback, and many expressed doubts about the future of the two-time Cup Series champion. However, as the 2023 Cup Series approaches the playoffs, it appears that those skeptics may have to reconsider their opinions. Busch's gamble has not only proven to be correct, but possibly the best move for his Cup Series career. This bold decision is yielding fruitful results not only for Richard Childress Racing, but also for their affiliated car manufacturer, Chevrolet. Recognizing this reality, even analyst and NASCAR commenter Mike Joy couldn't help but acknowledge the truth. Mike Joy emphasizes how Kyle Busch is reshaping the landscape for RCR within the hierarchy of Chevrolet teams. Regardless of one's fandom, any follower of the sport cannot deny that Hendrick Motorsports stands as the most successful team in NASCAR history. With an impressive track record of 14 championships and 295 cup victories, no other team comes close to their accomplishments. Throughout its illustrious journey in NASCAR, Hendrick Motorsports has consistently enjoyed strong support from its manufacturer, Chevrolet. As a result, Chevrolet has emerged as one of the dominant manufacturers in NASCAR, with Hendrick Motorsports reigning supreme at the top of the manufacturer's standings. However, things have taken a different turn since Kyle Busch departed from the Toyota-backed JGR and joined Chevrolet-backed RCR. Busch recently tasted victory at WWT Raceway, securing his third win of the season. This triumph not only benefits Busch personally, but also contributes to Chevrolet's success. With this win, Chevrolet's tally in the Cup Series reaches an impressive 842 victories. In light of these developments, Mike Joy shared with Mike Massaro, but boy, he has really revitalized RCR and I would even go so far as saying that RCR has surpassed Trackhouse Racing Team in the Chevrolet pecking order based on this season's results so far. Historically, the dominance of Hendrick Motorsports has been evident within the Chevrolet camp. 
Together as a team, they have amassed an impressive total of 295 wins, and currently field four full-time cars under the HMS banner. However, it seems that the tide is finally turning with Kyle Busch leading RCR to the podium. This newfound competitiveness brings a breath of fresh air to Richard Childress Racing and establishes them as strong contenders for the championship. Echoing these sentiments, Mike Joy affirmed, I mentioned during the broadcast that he may not be the greatest driver of all time, but I believe he will be remembered as the greatest driver of his era. He's consistently performing at a high level and poses a threat to win nearly every week. Chevrolet finds itself at a crucial crossroads in NASCAR's fiercely competitive car manufacturing landscape. The Legacy Motor Club garage has raised concerns as Jimmy Johnson, the team's co-owner, has made a bold and aggressive move by deciding to switch their allegiance from Chevrolet to Toyota at the end of the current season. This decision strongly suggests that Johnson holds Rick Hendrick and Hendrick Motorsports, or HMS, Chevrolet's favorite team, responsible for hindering Legacy Motor Club's success and overshadowing their achievements. As a seven-time Cup Series champion, Johnson fully recognizes the advantages and influence he gained during his remarkable 20-year tenure at Hendrick Motorsports. He bluntly stated, There's no way to avoid the fact that my 20 years at Hendrick put me in a position of power. We achieved tremendous success with the number 48 car and had significant control, not only within the manufacturer but also within Hendrick Motorsports itself. Johnson further emphasized that despite the technical alliance with Richard Childress Racing, Legacy Motor Club has failed to witness substantial performance improvements and has struggled to rise to the top of the competitive hierarchy. The partnership announcement between Legacy Motor Club, co-owned by Johnson and Maury Gallagher, and Toyota signals a seismic shift in Johnson's racing career, bidding farewell to a Chevrolet legacy that spans nearly 700 Cup Series races. They joined Joe Gibbs Racing and 2311 Racing as the third cup organization to align with the Toyota brand, signifying a bold and aggressive move away from their previous manufacturer. David Wilson, president of Toyota Racing Development, expressed his enthusiasm about Johnson joining the Toyota family, a powerhouse with annual revenue surpassing $200 billion. During an interview on Sirius XM NASCAR Radio, Wilson confirmed that Johnson would be driving a Toyota Camry in 2024. While specific details about Johnson's plans were not disclosed, Wilson made a definitive statement, 100% yes, you will see him in a Toyota. Today's confirmation of Johnson's involvement with the Toyota Camry solidifies his racing future. David Wilson's statement leaves little room for doubt regarding Johnson's intentions, as he will continue to compete, on a part-time basis, in the NASCAR Cup Series during the 2024 season. This milestone marks Johnson's historic 22nd year in the series. What are your thoughts on this new partnership? Will it be beneficial to the team? Tell us what you think in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click that bell button for more updates. However, the news of Johnson's move has also faced criticism from longtime fans who expressed their reluctance to see him driving a Toyota Camry. Some fans felt a sense of betrayal, voicing disappointment in what they perceived as a lack of brand loyalty. One fan took to social media, tweeting, how are you going to win seven championships in a Chevy and then turn your back on them and go drive a damn Toyota? At some point, brand loyalty has to mean something. Your team being a Toyota is one thing, but you driving one is another. Never thought I would see the day. In response to Jimmy Johnson's move, a fan using the handle at Legacy Motor Club expressed frustration and disappointment, strongly criticizing Toyota Racing and Jimmy Johnson for the switch. The fan's tweet conveyed strong emotions and a sense of disbelief indicating a feeling of betrayal due to Johnson's decision to join TRD. Conversely, other fans appeared to be less concerned about brand loyalty and more focused on the practical implications of the move. One fan's tweet exemplified this sentiment, expressing indifference towards other drivers while lamenting the sight of Johnson in a Toyota Camry. This response suggests that for some fans, the disappointment stems more from seeing Johnson racing in a different car model, regardless of brand associations. The announcement of the manufacturer changes raises questions about how Chevrolet will navigate these developments and adapt to the evolving landscape of other teams. It remains to be seen whether Chevrolet's dominance on the NASCAR tracks is fading or if there are alternative paths for them to maintain their position at the forefront of the sport. As the 2024 season approaches, all eyes will be on Jimmy Johnson to see how he performs in the Toyota. Ultimately, only time will reveal the outcome of this significant transition in Johnson's racing career. So that's all we've got for today. We hope you enjoyed it. Tell us what you think of the video in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We hope to see you in the upcoming video.